Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will discuss about the prompt panel in Crystal Report for Enterprise tool. So, while creating the parameters, two type of prompt options which can be used. First one is to prompt to the user which will create a prompt for the user where user can enter the value of the parameter. Then we have the hidden prompt. Hidden prompt will be used to pass some initial values or the values by formula but not by the user. So let's go to the tool and see what are the different other options we have while creating the prompt. So in the parameters if I right click and if I go to the edit new here first of all I have to give the parameter name. So whatever parameter name I want to give I can select here. After that we have the data type. So if I go to the drop down, so I can select either boolean, currency, date, time, date, number, string or the time as a data type for my prompt. Then whether I want to allow the multiple values or not, then whether I want, if I want to allow the multiple values, the values will be by discrete, by range or by discrete and range both. Then whether I want to make this prompt optional, then we have this value of prompt whether I want to use the prompt to user or I want to create it as a hidden prompt. So when we use the prompt to user option we have to enter the prompt text. So this is the prompt text and here I whatever I will enter the user will be able to see it when the user will run the report. So then we have the prompt panel. So whether I want to show as a editable prompt which means that it gives an option to enter the different value each time. Then I have do not show prompt. It doesn't give any option to change the value at the report level. Then I have the show as the read only prompt. So it gives an option to see the value but in the read only mode. So these are the three values I can select when I'm using prompt to user as an option. Then I have hidden prompt. Hidden prompts are used to pass the initial values or the values by formula. So if I select this, I have to select the initial value here. So to pass the initial value, we have to click on these dots. And here, once we click on this, it will ask us to enter the value for the parameter. And once we enter the value and click on OK, that value will be saved in the hidden prompt. After that, Let's say if I want to add more than one value, so I can just add one more value here and I can click on add. So by this I can add more than one values also as the initial value to this parameter. So let's go back to the prompt to user value. Then we have the list of values option. So if I want cer certain list of values to be associated, I can select this list of values. Similarly, I have other options here which we can use as per the requirement. Then if I click OK, it will create the parameter into my report. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can create the parameter, how we can prompt it to user or how we can use it as a hidden prompt. Thank you.